Hello, everybody. Due to the coronavirus epidemic, we have not been able to upload videos to the YouTube to give everyone an update of where we are. Our internet isn't the fastest here, so to upload a 20 minute video, it just takes days. Um, so that's not, we're not able to do that. Um, but what we decided to do is make shorter videos, five to six minute videos. It gives us an uh, update of what we're doing, maybe on a specific project. So it has been weeks here. What do you say, three weeks, four weeks? Oh, sure. Since you last posted the video, so we have a lot of updates for you around the, uh, the place. So I decided that this will be a quick tour video of what we've done, get you updated, um, and then we'll have more smaller videos to come. And Katie's making some delicious breakfast. Aren't you, Katie? Yep. What you making? Oh, mama. I some potatoes. Ah, potatoes, some eggs. An omelet. An omelet? Yeah. All right, so we're starting at the entrance here. Uh, the side entrance of the place. All this is pretty much what it was. Uh, but coming out here, we are in the process of painting the kitchen. Uh, as you can see, there's still the pink cabinets, but we got the white up top. And we also um, have the white boards that are ready to put up there. This has all been painted now. Totally different from what it was. It looks fantastic. Those are the white cabinets that are going to go up there with the black trim. Um, as you see, we did the black, took those off, the black on, it looks, it looks great. Um, and here's totally redone too. Um, so this is all painted. Um, the trim is a different color. Um, looks really good. Uh, coming over here, this is the den. Uh, so the den, we cleaned up just about all the boxes. We're using it right now for seedlings. Um, and we're setting up kind of a music room here, uh, which we're getting to. My office is a lot nicer as well. Um, this has all been painted. We have curtains. Um, yeah, it just looks good. We have a little storage over here that we're still working on, uh, but that has been updated. Let's head down to, down the hallway. This is something we still need to tackle this hallway here. If you look into the bedroom, um, you can see that we added some stuff. Um, Katie's got a little jewelry designer thing that we made there. We added some shelves. Um, we fixed the windows. We got this looking pretty decent here. And then going into Katie's office, this has been completely painted um, and redone. It looks good. That's exciting. So the in inside of the house is coming along. The bathroom is still the same. That's going to be a project for another day. Uh, but let me take you outside the house. Show you what we completed out there so far. All right. So here is the carport. Um, this table, I put a lot of stuff on wheels here. So they're easily able to be moved around. Um, you know, I got the table saw table that I made that can move around. This is able to be moved around. I made a French cleat system over here to hold all the tools, which is nice. Um, I made that over there to hold the sanding stuff or the, the drill stuff. This right here, hold the sanding stuff. Everything is looking pretty good. If we go out to the front, you notice that uh, we painted the the poles and the sides and the trim there. Um, we replaced that fascia that was busted with all new trim on the front. Um, so that that's all better. Um, we're gonna tackle the deck. We've also cleaned all the debris outside of the yard. So it's looking much cleaner. Um, I am gonna mow this today actually. <sighs> Moving into here, um, we're doing a lot of things. We have all our plants. We have some nice plants growing here in pots. We have set up a aquaponic system that is working very well. Um, so this is kale and lettuce and I think broccoli. Um, and then we have some more kale down there and some cabbage. It's just a test run, but uh, this is working great. We're loving it. I have dug up this area here. 
uh, you know, they put pretty much a foot of sand, uh, which is making it the patio completely unlevel and move around. So what I had to do is I had to take all the rocks out, all these darn rocks out that were on there. Um, I am taking in the process, taking out all the sand. There is a nice hard barrier down here, which is good. But we're going to put a layer of rock down a couple inches. Uh, two, three inches, and then an inch of sand on top, and then we're going to lay down a nice new patio. Um, it's going to look great. Also, I had to take out those giant railroad ties. Uh, we're going to do the same with that down there. Um, also, let's take a look over here at the cold frame. See how those are doing. These are all um, looking really good here. As you can see, so we have cabbage on the top left. Um, we have tomatoes on the bottom there. We got some herbs on the bottom right. We got melons and cucumbers. Um, we have, I don't even know what those are. I'm gonna have to ask Katie. Peppers. Uh, I'm not sure what these are, I forgot. Let me put this back. Oh boy. Oh boy, I'll come back and fix it. Yeah, so they're looking good. We got the chicks roaming around here. What's up, chicks? Um, we have redid this area too. So all this was taken out, and um, we put a nice border around this whole thing. I think it looks good. Um, the biggest change you're probably going to see is this is all dirt here. Uh, so we installed a new septic system. We dug up the old septic system that was right there. We put it uh, right here in this spot and then had the septic go the lines go up and down so this is all new septic um it's great it's getting nice and hard uh we're gonna make a road that goes from the driveway there down through here and up and in to uh to the barn there so let's continue our walk over to the barn this has all been cleared um, all these sticks and everything been taken up. All right. Oh, little chicks. There's our newest addition. If you can see them going crazy, they're a little nervous. This is our third day out. They are about five weeks. And they are uh, having a great time. So as you see, we have the normal chicken coop here that they're hanging out in now. When I let them out, the, bit, the two big chickens roam around and they jump in their coop. And then this is where they've been hanging out. So yeah, we got about 13 chickens now and they're growing up doing great. Um, made this road, goes down. We're also piling up landscaping things that we made. So have a bunch of sand there. Uh, have a nice dirt pile there that we can use. I've been cutting down cedar trees. You see these two logs? So I take these and uh, been making a, a big fence with them. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, also made this dirt road that goes right down into the other fence. And this dirt road that comes up over here. This is where I put the bulldozer and the mower um, and the tools. Um, but I made this road. goes right around the whole thing. Um, okay, now you're going to see this backyard area. This is all freshly mowed, by the way. I had to remove, you know, to remove all these sticks and, and get it to be able to mow it uh, wasn't easy, but we got the job done. These are our raised garden beds that we made. Um, and they are great. We are ready to plant in there. Um, we have one that we planted in and it's looking good. Uh, the, the problem why we didn't immediately plant is the pH in these are way too high for what we want. So we added some acidity to it and it should be good now. So we're going to be planting anytime. Um, yeah, so the road turns all the way there, goes into the barn. Over here, you have the stakes or the cedar logs I've been putting in, and I've been cutting all these by hand, cutting the trees down and putting them in. Um, yeah, and it looks good. I got to right here, and I said, you know what? Um, just because we're going to put some uh put some vegetables in there i don't want anything to get to them i'll just put the logs up and we'll put barbed wire down 
through the whole thing. Um, and then we can, uh, it, it'll be fenced off, so then we'll get to it. Um, add a little picnic table over there, create a birdhouse so a bluebird can be in there. We're going to move that birdhouse to on one of these poles, probably another one too. Uh, yeah, and we have these all the way down. Um, and we have a few more poles that we're going to put in, and then we're going to connect it. Um, so this is going to be our giant garden area. These are where our trees are going to go. We have three trees that we're going to get, and we're going to create three more boxes. So I think we're going to have two apples, a cherry, um, a peach. Uh, who knows what else? A couple more. We got them all planned out, though. And then this over here, we're going to plan to put uh, blackberry bushes, raspberry bushes, uh, blueberry bushes. Uh, so that's where we are so far on the update. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that uh, quick tour of what we've been doing here. Um, I should have some more videos coming to you soon. Shorter videos, not a big, long 20, 30 minute tour of our, our place because we just internet can't handle it right now. Coronavirus is, is limiting where we can go. Uh, but I'm going to get some breakfast because those eggs look good. And Katie's eating right now up there. I see her. So, uh, catch you guys later.